Good Monday morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. We have a great looking day ahead of us. We had some clouds, we've had a couple of showers, we had uh, well, some stars as well overhead. Now we're seeing more and more of that sunshine breaking through as the clouds uh, associated with the cold front that went through the area last night, uh, they are kind of uh, beginning to clear out as the front pushes southward. Here's a look outside uh, just about a quarter after eight o'clock here this morning on this Monday. There is the bell tower to CC Heights. A lot of blue in the sky overhead, 64 to start the day here in the 8 o'clock hour. We're going to go from here to the mid-70s. Uh, really nice looking stretch of weather. Uh, next couple of days look fantastic. Now, you know, with that said, we could use some rain, but I put that in the back burner now and just enjoy the sun that we have right now because we're not going to see rain for a while. It's like maybe the very end of the week offers the next a decent chance of showers in our area. So with that said, let's move on and talk about some beautiful uh, sunshine that will be dominant in our weather picture over the next couple of days. Right now, here's a look at the day planner. Uh, a few of these extra uh, fair weather clouds, then uh, more and more sunshine going to the afternoon. High temperature of 76 around 4, 4.30 this afternoon. And northwest winds will also develop at around 15 to 20 miles per hour at times, kind of stirring things up and keeping things uh, cool and refreshing here to start the work week. Sunset 810 this afternoon. So some sun right now, northwest breeze 6 miles per hour. Dew point in low 60s, air pressure on the rise as high pressure continues to build in. The dew point's not going to be a concern very much, uh, very often this week. We're going to have uh, some pretty crisp weather, uh, certainly, especially to start the week. Not much mugginess to talk about. And temperatures later on maybe slowly building uh, a little bit. Anyway, 64 in Rochester now at 65 in Mason City, 64 in Rushford. Rainfall deficit, now that's another topic to talk about. Yes, rain. Uh, would be nice. We have a one and a quarter inch deficit for this month alone, two inches overall this season, going back to the beginning of June. So we do, do need some rain. But uh, again, like I said, almost five days away from that happening again. There were the showers we had earlier this morning, a couple of spotty sprinkles until about sunrise. They have kind of died out, and now that front is pushing southward, the sky is clearing off, high pressure is coming behind that. Humidity pretty much on the low end of the scale here for the next few days and climbing a little bit toward the end of the week. Uh, but uh, right now, here's future cast. High pressure comes in, makes for a, a bright sun-filled day. Northwest breeze up to 20 miles per hour tonight. Light winds, clear skies, and low 50s. And tomorrow, here's a look at Tuesday. High pressure planted right on top of us. Very light uh, west-northwest winds. Temperatures in the upper 70s. We'll get to low 80s on Wednesday, though. There will be a few passing clouds, a couple of spotty showers just to our north and northeast. But I think we're going to miss out on that action. We'll wait for Friday evening for really our next decent chance of showers and thunderstorms. Today, mostly sunny, uh, those spotty showers fizzling out as we speak. Look for 76 in Rochester, Mason City 77, Albert Lee 74, uh, again 76 later on with those northwest winds. Tonight, clear skies, 52 overnight, and then tomorrow, light winds, mostly sunny, very comfortable Tuesday, 77 tomorrow uh, in the afternoon, and we'll see those low 80s take over for a few days, uh, and then uh, heading into the weekend, a couple of thunderstorms, uh, especially after about 6 or 7 in the evening on Friday. And it looks like maybe just a couple of morning spotty showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder on Saturday. The afternoon looks actually pretty good right now with upper 70s. And then Sunday, a sun-filled day with high temperatures around 80. So more specifically, here is the 7-day forecast. The storms uh, end of the work week and early part of the weekend and the temperatures heading into the weekend still very seasonable keep in mind 79 is a seasonal average we're going to be within a couple of degrees of that pretty much each day just a little more humidity and fueling those rain chances on friday so otherwise the rest of the week was very pleasant and pretty comfortable with lows close to 60 and highs close to 80 give or take and then in the meantime uh, yeah, enjoy that beautiful sunshine today and we'll see you right back here tomorrow for our tuesday